Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make these really simple and cool looking backgrounds and after effects and they are all kinda unique and really easy to make so I'd say let's just start with the first one with this cool one so let's create a new composition and just let's add a new background I'll just go with a dark grey color and just duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D and with the upper layer selected, we can look for the grid effect, the effects tab, and just apply it to the upper layer, just like this. And let's turn up the border size a bit to something like 8 or 10. Maybe let's go with 10. And yeah, this is almost it basically. We just have to add one more effect, which is the hex tile effect, this one. So just select this as well and change the render type from tile to fold aligned and yeah now we already have this cool background and we can animate this of course by yeah placing keyframes at the center so just go to the beginning put in a keyframe go forward a bit and just let it move not too much because at some point it makes this weird animation but Otherwise, we can just have this calm background and yeah, this is really nice. We can also rotate it or make some other adjustments. But let's keep it at the default setting. You can also play around with this, which is really cool. So you can make these effects if you keyframe the, the last one here. But let's also leave this at the normal effect. And yeah, you can also change the color, give it a light blue maybe, and yeah, that's it for the first background. Let's make the second one, and for this we can just delete the hex tile effect, and yeah, keep our grid effect, and maybe just play around with the corner settings to make it a little bit smaller, like this. And then we have to add another more, more important effect which is the turbulent displace effect and yeah as you can see this looks interesting already and we again can just animate this by going to the beginning putting in the keyframe at evolution at zero and then just go forward again and just play around with it a bit and we already have this cool background and of course you can play with the settings by yeah, increasing or decreasing the amount or the size but yeah whatever you do you will get a quite funny looking animated grid effect and yeah it's up to you how you place these settings but I think this looks really cool and yeah that's it for this background let's go to our last background and again we will use the grid effect as a base for that so just delete the turbulent displacement effect and search for the CC collider effect and just apply it and yeah this again looks a bit weird but as we play around with the rotation we get these really cool animations so again go to the beginning place a keyframe go forward and just move this a bit and you get these really cool animations and of course again you can just play with the other settings and just find what you think looks the best you can maybe change the mirroring type to wheel to flipper to this basically you can just try what looks good for you this looks really interesting for example and yeah, it's super simple, just two effects, but this looks like it's been a little bit more complicated, maybe. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.